This is a video series on Embedded Linux with Yakta project. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about embedded systems and related technologies. This video is about components of Yakta project. Watch till the end. In this video, we will understand more about the Bitwig 2, recipes, classes, and configurations in the Yakta project. What is Bitwig tool? Bitwig is a task scheduler that parses Python and shell scripts mixed code. So basically, you can say that Bitwig is a parser of these Python and uh, other scripts that it has. The code parsed generates and runs tasks that may have complex dependency chain, which is scheduled to allow a parallel execution and maximize the use of computational resources. So what it means that Bitwig, Bitwig schedules the tasks that are needed to be executed to build your Yocto project, or the Yocto image. Bitwig can, Bitwig can be understood as a tool similar to GNU Make its aspects. So what GNU Make does is you have a make file and then make file has a sequence of steps to build your project or build your application. So similarly, Bitwig is a tool which has a, a parser to parse your Python and shell scripts, plus the metadata and all that stuff. And also schedules the, the sub-processes or the tasks that, need, that are needed to build your Yocto image. To see a list of options Bitwig supports, you can use the following command, bitwig minus h, bitwig minus help. So let me go to the terminal. Here I have a dev. Inside that I have Yocto. I will take this is where I'm working now. Then cd to pokey ls. Okay, then you need to source the open embedded in it build environment. So if you see my other videos, you know why we're doing this. So this is because to initialize the embedded build environment. So now it is initialized and you you see that we are under the pokey build working directory. The directory has changed to the build directory. And bitpake minus h would give us some of the commands of oh, bitpake. It kind of displays the help menu for us. And also the bitpake minus minus help. So I think it's the same thing. Okay, so now we have, now we know that how to get a help on the Bitwig. So of course, you can, we can always go to the documentation on the Yocto project and see further details and how it works, how the, the Bitwig works. So we would cover this in the future videos. So the most common usage of Bitwig is Bitwig recipe name, where recipe name is the name of the recipe you want to build. So refer to as a target. The target often equates to the first part of the recipe's file name. Example, foo. So for a recipe name foo underscore 1.3.0 dot dot or 0 bb. So recipe is basically, okay, it ends with the dot bb, so which we will see later. And foo is the name and 1.3 1.3.0 is a version name, minus R0. This is a version name. To process and matchbox desktop minus, sorry, underscore 1.2.3 BB recipe file, you might have to do the following. So what we do is we take this and then let's try to build it. So Bitwig Matchbox Desktop. So what it does is it tries to build this recipe. 
Well, you can see that it started. Okay, so it will take some time, it's okay. Well, this is just to demonstrate that how do we uh, build Matchbox desktop uh, recipe. Okay, so several different versions of Matchbox desktop might exist, but we choose the one selected by the distribution configuration. So we will have distribution configuration under the uh, the distro conf file so it chooses that version so bitpick also tries to execute any dependent tasks first for example before building matchbox desktop bitpick would build a cross compiler and jdbc if they have not already built so you, see, you can see that currently it's running a few tasks so it kind of uh, unpacks the GCC source, incurs, slip. So there are different tasks that are run. So some of the tasks are ideally, it's to be, ideally they should be download and do unpack the tar and all that. So which the, the reason the download is not here because I've already downloaded it in my previous builds. So as a useful bit to bake option to consider is the minus k or continue option this option instructs bit to bake to try and continue processing the job as long as possible even after encountering an error when an error occurs the target that fails and choose and those that depends on it cannot be remade however when you use this option other dependencies can still be processed so this minus k option is when you you will use this to fasten the build process in a way that if some build step is failing some dependency some stage fails so the bitpick tries to still continue as long as it cannot continue further so that's the understanding uh, the next thing is recipes files that have .bb suffix or recipes files. In general, a recipe contains information about a single piece of software. This information includes the location from which to download the unaltered sources or any source patches to be applied to the source if needed. With special configuration option to apply. How to compile the source files? how to target the package the compiled output the term package sometimes used to refer to recipes however since the word package is used for packaged output from the open embedded build system that is ipk or dev files this, this is the, the packages this document avoids using the term package when referring to recipe so we use recipe for the recipes so well so what it means is that you can think of this as an, a recipe for any dish. So it contains all the steps that are needed to build the software. Similar to a cooking recipe would contain what are the steps and ingredients that needs to be that are needed for, for making a dish. Right? So that's the analogy here. So recipes will have all the steps to download the target, sorry, download the source code, to unpack it, to patch it, if there are any patches, and configure it and then build it. So that's the thing. So in the in the next video, I will demonstrate how do we build an open source package from sources. So that would kind of uh, see how do we build open source package similar to a recipe wherein we build a software package the next thing is classes class files that will be class contain information that is useful to share between recipe files an example of 
An example is the auto tools class, which contains common settings for any application that uses auto tools. So, so let's say dot pb. Here you can see that these are all the recipes. This is for the system D, and then this is OpenSSH Python. So these are all the recipes. And if I do the same thing as dot classes, so you can see that uh, you have a number of a lot of classes. So for example, if I choose any one here, I will let's say choose the sys utils class. Okay, this is a patch. So let me do so again search for dot really ss LASS. So this is dot class file. So code dot bb bb class file. So this contains all the different settings that are kind of shared with configurations and the 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 common recipe aspect which needs to be shared will be put into bb class and you can see that if, if i do a search go dot bb class so you can see that it is used well this this may not be a good example It's just mentioned in the release note. But that's not what I want to show you. Mm, okay, so let's say if I have something. So I will check for the auto tools. So auto tools, we to auto tools so you can see that this auto tools is will be included in some of the recipes This is a case but I could search for the directory classes auto tools in term db path. So anyways, so I will cover all of this in my future episode. How do we how do we share classes across different uh, recipes? So that's the topic for future videos. Well, so this is about class. So the natural class is basically a file that has that, contain, that contains the information that needs to be shared between recipe files. Okay, the next thing is configurations. The configuration files, the dot conf, define various configuration variables that govern the open number and build process. These files fall into several areas that define machine configuration options. Distribution configuration options, compiler tuning options, general common configuration options, the other use of configuration options in the conf, local conf, which is found in the build directory. So you can see that the star.conf, there are a lot of configuration files. This is the local conf, is the basic one or the, the initial one that every uh, new Yocto user would be interested in where they make changes for different so configuring the different, uh, different things like machine distribution, compiler tuning, general common configuration options. This is under local conf. You can also configure the bit peak and you can configure BB layers where it contains the water the layers. So for example, it contains the water the layers that your reactor image would have so such information would be the BB layers. So if I go to uh, dot conf, so local conf is you can see that it contains 
a lot of things on the, the distro configuration, the packages, what are the different packages that package configuration basically to choose which con which package configuration we use and so forth. So the the other images that we have installed before, so all this information is provided in the configuration local conf. So here also you can see the machine configuration where machine I am I have configured to build for Google Bunyakto. So such configurations will be part of local conf. Well, I hope this video is helpful to understand a little bit about the Yocto project components. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you in learning, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, share with anyone who is interested to learn more about embedded Linux and Internet of Things. Leave a comment below for any feedback or discussion.